What a dooski, it's your boy Fable34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Doctor Who. This one is Season 7, Episode 9. How's it going, everybody? So, last episode we saw was uh, with the Ice Warriors from Mars. Uh, wasn't a particularly big fan of it. We were also, you know, it was, it was a Cold War. Uh, yeah, wasn't the biggest fan of that episode. Didn't think it was very great, but... We're on to a new one, so let's get right into it, guys. Episode 9 now, usually where there's about 13 episodes, so I would expect some bigger connective tissues to start to pop up because we haven't had very many uh, yet so far. Particularly orange today, I don't know why, I think the lighting's a little off. Anyway, as always, if you enjoy this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, y'all, don't forget, if you're interested in following up and checking with your boy, then definitely check out my social media links next to Dooski right over here. With that being said, Let's get right into it, guys. Yeet. It's loud. It also sounds like Goku's charging up to go Super Saiyan 2. Oh. About ready, I think. Hmm. Any thoughts on the uh, interference? Ferrite are, are we ghost hunting? RF jokes, just in case. It's like the Conjuring movies or something. <laughs> the vibes I'm getting. Excellent, then. Excellent. Caliban House, night four, November 25th, 1974, 11.04 p.m. I'm talking to the spirit that inhabits yeah. this house. Are you there? Exterminate. I'm talking to the lost soul that abides in this place. Come to me. Speak to me. Let me show you the way home. Let me show you the way home! Walk this way! Oh, that's actually kind of spooky. <laughs> Emma? <laughs> so, so what? I'm looking for a ghost. And you are? Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah! All right, we got Neil back, and this one's called Hyde. Professor of Psychology and mm. Ghost Hunter. Total pleasure. <gasps> Massive. Actually, you're wrong. Professor Palmer spent most of the war as a POW. Of health and safety. Yeah. The Ministry <laughs> got wind of what's going on down here. Sent me to check that everything's in order. They don't have the right. Don't. Oh, what? lovely, the ACR 99821. Oh, bliss, nice action on the toggle switches. You know, I do love a toggle switch. What's that? He's in a chilly yeah. mood. Health and safety, classified, I'm afraid. You know, while the backroom boffins work out a few kinks. Well, what's it telling you? It's telling me that you haven't been exposed to any life-threatening transmundane emanations. Show me. No, well, nothing says ghosts like uh, three candles and a handle. It's ghost time. Wasn't episode three of the of New Who? Ghosts? It was the Ghost Children, wasn't it? Let's see where this episode takes us. <laughs> Man took a selfie. An empathic psychic. Sometimes. The house is over four hundred years old, but she has been around much longer. The Caliban Gast. She's mentioned in local Saxon poetry, the love of God. Stop screaming. She never changes. Maybe she's stuck know. in some sort of uh, she's an objective phenomenon. dimension or something? Mm. But objective recording equipment can't detect her. Without the presence of a powerful psychic. It's a jaw dropper for sure, I mean. She knows I'm here. I can feel her. Scare ghosts. Uh, to be honest, is the heart of the house. Ah, volume, go down. You're too loud. Uh, if I was the companion on the doctor's journeys, one of the lines what I would draw is uh, is with ghosts. I ain't fucking with that shit. 
Ignorance is Carlisle. Okay. And ghosts are always like, they always like, ooh, let me throw you against the wall and turn the lights on and off. You know, if I were to ever become a ghost, I just fucking make a meme and shit. Or just yell. The hell was that? I just yell yeet. Yeet! <laughs> Millennial ghosts. Can you imagine that in the future? And how we feel? Let it out, man. Yes. I ship you guys before Always. I even know you. Always Go that. for it. I have to, um, have to be getting on with things. The, um, the equipment and so forth. Of course. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> The doctor gets possessed this episode. <clears throat> I think she's here. Cold spot. Spooky. Okay. Doctor. These sounds are definitely getting creepier. I'm not happy. No. The gates of hell opening, that's what it is. It's getting chilly for sure. She's coming. Very angry noise. What's making it? I don't know. Are you making it? <laughs> Things just escalated so quickly. <laughs> there's a crawling monster ghost. And now uh, there's this woman in a floating, spiraling mirror out of nowhere. Help me. Excuse me, what the fuck was that? Disrupting U-boat operations across the North Sea, sabotaging railway lines across Europe, Operation Gibbon, the one with the carrier pigeons, brilliant. I do love a carrier pigeon. I did my duty, but... And so did thousands of others. Millions of others. I was just lucky enough to come back. Yes, but how does that matter? That war hero end up here, in a lonely old house, looking for ghosts? You've been there for a whole See, five minutes, Clara. And unmarried, and yeah, I, I didn't mind dying. I mean, not for that cause. It was a very, very fine cause. Defeating the enemy. And if you could contact them, what would you say? Tom. What about you and the doctor? Oh, I don't think so. Clara! Well, I wouldn't trust her because it's inaccurate information. He has two hearts. That's the second time she mentioned the TARDIS not liking her. Probably a logic connection. Hey. And we still don't know how the hell she gets to the future. That's still like a, a question mark <clears throat> hanging over this season. Need a place to keep this. I've got one. To, to like you, she's soaking wet. It's health and safety nightmare. Where are we going? Nowhere. We're staying right here. That's not actually a sentence. Well, it's got a verb in it. What do you think? Ooh, uh, throwback. Colour's a bit boisterous. I think it brings out my eyes. Makes my eyes hurt. <laughs> he does like that suit quite a bit. Did you, did you see where he went? <laughs> Back off! Hot suit! Hot, hot, hot! When are we? About six billion years ago. It's a... 
Tuesday, I think. What? He's trying to flex for the gram, I guess. Stand completely still. Don't breathe. Well, you can breathe, but shallow breaths. Claude's just hanging back. What's wrong? Did the TARDIS say something to you? Are you being mean? No, it's not that. Have we just watched the entire life cycle of Earth, birth to death? Yes. Oh, and you're okay with that? It's his backyard. How can you be? The TARDIS. She's time. We... Wibbly Vortex. And so on. It's not what I mean. Okay. Some help. Context. Something. I mean, one minute, you're in 1974, looking for ghosts. But all you have to do is open your eyes and talk to whoever's standing there. To you, I haven't been born yet. <laughs> he kind of glosses over those. In the ground. Those pieces of information. Yes. I suppose it is. But here we are, talking. So I am a ghost. To you, I'm a ghost. We're all ghosts to you. Oh, she's getting hit with reality. There must be nothing. No. Then what are we? What can we possibly be? You are the only mystery worth solving. Interesting slant to go into this episode in the middle of the ghost. We're just like, let's go travel and have Clara just uh, question the doctor, the doctor's methods. They're gonna obviously tie back for some reason, but right, done. That's it, gather round, gather round, roll up, roll up. The ghast of Caliban House. Never changing, trapped in a moment of fear and torment. But what if she's not? Oh. Wait, is that not one of Clark? What if she's one of Clara's crew? That, the outfit looks... Soul. Her name is Hilla Takori. She's a pioneer, a time traveler. Or at least she will oh. be in a few hundred years. Time travel is not possible. The paradoxes the resolve reason. themselves by and large. How long has she been alone? Well, oh, no, never time travel's a funny old thing. I mean, from her perspective, she crash landed, well, uh, three minutes ago. A distorted echo of our own. They happen sometimes, but never last for long. Put me in the writer's room. There's some sort of creatures in this pocket universe who will, will devour her soul. Oh. And are on all the fours. What is that? Still, not to worry. So what do we do? Not we, you. You save Hilatokorian because you are Emma Grayling. You are the lantern. The rest of us are just along for the ride, I'm afraid. You got this. And Good luck. Crystal from Metabolis Three plus some Kendall make cake. All right. <clears throat> Don't do it. I'm sorry. Nobody asked her to risk her life. This woman, she doesn't deserve. Whoever she is, however brilliant, however brave, she's not you. She is not worth risking a single hair on your head. Not to me. Can't you just, you know... What? Fly the TARDIS into a parallel universe. Ah, it's not a parallel universe. It's a pocket. A pocket. Universe. Plus, it is collapsing. I mean, the TARDIS could get in there, all right, but entropy would bleed her power sources, you see, trap her there until the entire universe decayed back into the quantum foam, which would take about... Side note, uh, the the two leads, the, the ghost hunters and uh, the person who the, the one with the empathy, uh, she, the, the ghost powers. She looks like Anne Hathaway, and uh, her uh, companion looks like Russell Crowe, the TV the TV show version. Three minutes. <laughs> what exactly is this arrangement? A psycho chronograph. Forgive me, but isn't it all a little bit well? Make doing men. Non psychic technology won't work where I'm going. Listen, all I need to do is dive into another dimension, find the time traveler, help her escape the monster all right. before the entire dimension collapses, and Bob's your uncle. Doctor. Well, yes, probably. A bit. Well, quite a lot. I don't know. It might be agony. To be perfectly honest, I'll be interested to find out. It's good to know. I'm speaking to Hilla Takorian. 
Uh oh. Shit, that was loud. David Tennant pops up with like the hand, like Donna. Uh, Geronimo. Geronimo. <laughs> oh, he, he entered the Twilight films. Great. <laughs> I have your side of a screwdriver. Those creepy crawlers are gonna get you. Three. Hello to Corey and Zoom. Who are you? Clutching universe, you and me dead. Two minutes, no time, complete sentences, abandoned planning. Wait. There's They're something coming. in the mist. Then run. Run! Okay. Not that way, which means, uh, probably. What's wrong? You know that exit I mentioned? Yes. I seem to have misplaced it. Oh god. You had one job, doctor. Universe. All the handheld motion. <clears throat> All the whole hand handheld motions, uh. It's putting straight about us. She leaves him. Did. Wasn't enough. She needs to do it again. She can't. Look at her. She has to. We can't leave him. Oh, come on. Oh, let me in, you grumpy old cow. Whoa. Emma, I was as lost as her. But being with you, you gave me a reason to be, Emma. You brought me back from the dead. You gave me purpose. She's probably so confused, like, where am I? Who are you? Who's man's? What's going on? I'm programmed to select the image of a person you esteem. Of several billion such images in my databanks, this one best meets the criterion. Oh, well, you are a cow, I knew it. Whatever, you have to help the doctor. The doctor is in the pocket universe. You can enter the pocket universe. The entropy would drain the energy from my heart. Can you hear me? Doctor! Oh, come on! So is it gonna be... Is Clara gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? Are we both... It's gonna be a team effort. They're gonna manage a way to put through in the Doctor Who line. They'll do it. <laughs> he shooketh. 
We're gonna have one good pop up with a close up of it. And well done. I am the doctor. And I am afraid. <laughs> Takes a lot to get him swooped. <laughs> Fucking shit. So why am I still here, huh? Why not just eat me? It's not your time. Huh? Because you still need me. Yeah, you need me to piggyback you across. <laughs> to which I say. He's gone. <laughs> Knock it off his head. <laughs> what did he grab onto? <laughs> the side, really? You got a grip like that, Matt? That's fine. She's gonna tease his, his end? Or something bigger? You didn't come here for the ghost, did you? No. You came here for me? Yes. Why? I needed to ask you something. Then ask. Clara. Oh, yes. about Clara, actually. That makes more sense. What is she? She's a girl. Yes, but what kind of girl, specifically? She's a perfectly ordinary girl. Very pretty. More scared than she lets on. And that's it, is it? Why? Is that not enough? What, they got a back door? She's like a time lord or something? Oh. I knew you were there. I could feel you. I know. Have we? Well, we can't have. You haven't even been born yet. No, you can't have met, but she can be your great, 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 great granddaughter. True. Oh. Not. The paradox resolve themselves by and large. That's why the psychic link was so powerful. Blood calling to blood. Oh, okay, After so they were family. Not everything ends. Eh? Not love. Doctor, I'm not happy. Yeah, you need me to piggyback you across. I'm not holding your hand. Ow, oh, I'm so slow. I am slow. I'm notorious for it. That's always been my problem. But, but. I get there in the end, oh yes. Every lonely monster needs a companion. Okay. There's two of them. <laughs> you know, it's the oldest story in the universe. This one or any other. Boy and girl fall in love, get separated by events, war, politics, accidents and time. Mention this isn't a ghost story, it's a love, love story. story. Sorry. One more go. Sorry! I understand now! I can take you to a safe place far away from here! You can be together! Ah. Oh, come on then! She's waiting! Let's go for him. Well, hello again, you old Romeo, you. <laughs> Get ready to jump. And that was Doctor Who Season 7, Episode 9. That was my reaction video. I'm kind of mixed bagged about this episode. Uh, I, I think I, I like the idea of, uh, of, of, of Clara seeing the Doctor and, and learning more about him and how his, his perspective, his reality where he just goes any point in time and he sees humanity from its beginning to end. It's the dark side to the Doctor's, you know, travels. Uh, I like that. Although I kind of feel like they just sort of threw that randomly in the middle of the episode. But then that sort of, it, it tied in. Ended up needing to go to another, you know, dimension, whatever, with the TARDIS. So I get that sort of connective tissue. Um, just felt uh, just felt a little bit out of place in the episode in terms of its placement. The idea of there being a ghost and then 
it actually just being the uh, someone stuck in a different dimension it's pretty cool yeah i just i just found this episode so to be okay certainly better than the last one uh but there was there were some cool ideas but i don't know if they're executed very uh, very well i like the idea of it of this you know bone creature being um sort of like the boogeyman and the way that they shot it was pretty cool especially in the second half with mass smith doing a lot of turns and i also like the production design again i think season seven they really uh, amped it up for a lot of the scenes uh for a lot of the sequences in, in the episodes like the forest looked dope clara i don't know she hasn't got all too much the past two episodes recently uh <clears throat> But it was nice to see that they're, they're, they are starting to slowly lean in, into it a little bit more with like, what's special about her? How does she get to the future? So I'm looking forward to the more in-depth explanation and maybe uh, instead of us just having a full episode about some, some filler ghost space uh, story, uh, we, we dive more into Clara's at, or, or her the anomaly and the mystery behind Clara. So I don't know what's going on with the ending though, with the whole like the lovers who were displaced and the way the way they just sort of edited it off. Okay, cool. That's how they're gonna end the episode. All right, fine. And then they're like, wait, wait a second. We have to bring these two space monster aliens together to to fall in love again. And I'm like, all right, a little oddly paced here, but. Um, I thought this episode was, was, was okay. That was my thoughts on this one, y'all. What do you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, it was cool to see the TARDIS's, uh, you know, uh, visual uh, recognition and, and uh, in, in the voice of Clara. Visuals of the TARDIS, so that was pretty interesting. And I wonder if there's any tie-ins that are gonna connect to that or significance, but. Anyway, that was my reaction to this one, y'all. That's it for me. I will see you for Wednesday's upload on Wednesday. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace.